Hi folks, this is Sean McCormick and welcome to the Lightroom Blog Channel. In this video we're going to look at file renaming in Lightroom. File renaming happens in a couple of places, import, export and even in library itself. So we're going to look at a few different variations on where it happens and how you can create a file naming template. One of the first places you'll see file naming is in import. We've looked at import in the previous video. In this video we'll just look at making our own file naming template. There are default options in template. The first is custom name X of I which is individual text on import and a file number and total. Next is custom name and original file number. This is individual text with this number suffix from the original file name. Custom name dash sequence is next where you add your own number sequence instead of the original one. Custom name on its own is next. Date, file name is obvious. And file name just leaves the name as is. Shoot name, original file number is similar to custom name file number, but just using shoot instead of custom name. Shoot name sequence is the same essentially as custom name sequence. You can create your own template by clicking edit in this menu. We'll start with clearing the box. From image name, you can choose file name or file number suffix, which is the number from the original file. From numbering, you can have import number or image number. This is the total number of imports so far and the current image number from that import. There's also sequence options, which includes things like total numbers. You can include a date and a range of EXIF information in the file name. It's probably overkill to use them all, but you could have a super long file name with all that information in it. What I'm going to do is start with a date option. I'm going to choose YYYYMMDD, a four-year date. If you prefer a two-year date, you could choose YYMMDD consecutively for a shorter date option. I'm choosing my option and then entering a dash manually in the box. Google sees these dashes as spaces in a file name, which helps with your search engine optimization. Next, I choose custom text, so I can use a descriptive text on each import, allowing me to know what's in a file by glancing at the name. Another dash, and I go for the file name number suffix. This adds the four digit number from my original name to the new name. To save, choose save settings as a new preset and give it a name in the box. You can name it however you like, but I'm going to choose date custom suffix. Click done. If it doesn't load in the menu, select it. It should be remembered for the next import. To use, I add Camille as custom text and then I click import. The photos will import and be tagged with the new name based on the template. The images are now imported. Let's say I want to rename them again in sections. I go to the library menu and choose rename photos from the menu. You can see in the menu that the shortcut key is F2 which is function key 2. A dialog box appears and you can select a file naming template or again edit to create your own. I choose the same one as before and change the custom text to Camille-Insta-Famous to match the top she's wearing. Again, dashes are interpreted as spaces by Google. Click OK to start renaming. There we go. That's how easy it is to rename. You can also rename in export. Shift Command or Control E to open. I choose my 960 web no watermark preset. It doesn't have renaming in it, so I go to the file naming section. I'm not limited to what's here. I can rename again on export. I choose custom name sequence here. Next I'll edit to change it from one digit to three digit sequence. So I have leading zeros before the one. I click done and go to edit the custom text. I'll call these insta-famous. We can see what the file name will look like from the example section. So those are three sections where you can name your files in Lightroom. It's easy to make your own templates and it's worth having your own that gets used consistently to have unique and usable names on your files. Hey folks, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give me the thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, do leave a comment. I know that I'm always trying to improve this. If you have suggestions for something that you want to see or even comment about how much I'm mumbling, which I try not to do in the shorter videos because I script them. So what I do is I actually will do a run through, type out everything I've said but clean it up and then I will 
read it back in such a way as I'm not mumbling or I'm not dropping off as much as I possibly can to try and make it as good as possible for you. And then I will try and put in closed captions when I get a chance, just to make it even more readable. So if you have more suggestions, please do feel free to comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to get notifications, do click the bell. Thanks for watching.